Okay, world, how you doing? Uh, this is a little true. Uh, let's see if we can get the name here. True. A little true freezer. Uh, a little under counter. Uh, they call it a TU7. TUC. Uh, TUC 27F is in freezer. Uh, TUC stands for true under counter. Dash 27, I believe, is a cubic foot. Um, F, TUC 27F. Anyways, did a little rebuild on this unit. Compressor failed. <coughs> Anyways, put a new compressor in here. Um, dryer plugged up. That's the dryer video. Anyways, this is the back of the unit here. New compressor, new liquid line filter dryer. Uh, same condenser fan motor. Unit's just barely under five years old. Um, so, compressor was under warranty. Um, third horse R404A system. Um, got put a suction line filter dryer in. This came out real nice. I'll show you guys this. this is a good place for a, a half inch coming into the dryer, suction dryer. So to protect the uh, compressor, as one of the guys on my the desiccant dryer video said put a suction dryer in and I'm like yep hey, yep it's a good idea to protect a compressor so it's hard to find a location so this is a good location right here see if you can see the weld it's like uh, weld came out real nice <coughs> so we got half inch suction dryer going down here and uh, say we'll put a street L half inch street L and then it's 3 8 suction into the compressor it works real nice. Used one of these, uh, I don't know that I don't use these very often. Anyways, this is the cap tube type dryer that Alco sells, Emerson. Uh, it's like a quarter inch inlet with a cap tube, so it's meant for cap tube. Better than that pencil dryer, I think, you know. Um, so I'm going to stop using those pencil dryers that plug up, like that one, desiccant, and start using these ones, see how I like them. But, uh, anyways, it's running real nice. Uh, note to true uh, reason for this failure was capillary tube right here um, is they wrap the capillary tube and stick it to the suction line here they wrap it around the suction line and they tape it to the suction line with this aluminum tape so nevertheless hopefully you can see the green stuff the corrosion and they put the insulation around the suction line Insulation doesn't fit tight, so it sweats under there real bad, frozen, freezer line. So insulation's not tight enough, it's too big. Um, corrosion, the aluminum tape with copper cap tube and the copper suction line, you know, floating around under there. Um, electrolysis turns the cap tube green, gnarly corrosion, under five years, whole cap tube turns into a sponge just freaking leaking everywhere on the cap tube. So I skinned it with 15%. Um, customer didn't want to go into the investment of going in and replacing the cap tube into the unit and tearing the evaporator section apart and everything. Anyways, I skinned them before and they work all right. Um, so anyhow, skinned it with 15%. So, uh, did that, but note to true, you guys need to start, if you want to get subcooling from the capillary tube, if you're going to uh, secure it to the suction line, you should use duct tape so you don't get the electrolysis. So true, you guys need to duct tape the suction line, uh, duct tape the cap tube to it, or just don't do it, period. And you need to put the right size insulation on your suction lines. You guys use too big insulation, it doesn't fit snugly. Get a bunch of water underneath between it. It's a bad idea. All the way around. Anyway, so. <clears throat> but besides that, True makes a nice product. Um, so from day one now, when I get these units, I'm going to probably start uh, checking to see if the cap tubes are taped to the suction line um, with the aluminum tape. And if they are, when I, when I get these units brand new, I'm going to tell the customer, hey, we need to undo this tape and get it off of there and pull it off duct tape it and then re-insulate it so that's what I'm gonna do 
so I saved my customers some money on new units. So I'm finding this a lot. The corrosion is real bad. This is like the second or third one, and finding it a lot. The corrosion. They got this tape on there, so uh, I don't. I don't even like doing it. I don't even put my cap tubes. They're trying to sub cool the cap tube and get a little more performance out of it. And they probably do, but I'd rather have the units work and be reliable. So, anyways, we got uh. See him run for a little while. We got 4.8 amps, and uh, we got top number here is the box temp. We got 0.3 tenths of a degree, so it's right around zero. Suction line's at 23 degrees, so uh, it's running real nice. That's about where I want it. R404. My pressures are around. See if this thing will focus. I got 20 pound, 20 pound suction, which comes or it's over to a minus 15, um, minus 10, minus 12 and a half evap, minus 12 and a half evap with a zero degree box. That's nice. So we got 12 degree TD across the coil and 108 pound head pressure R404. Um, so. Uh, excuse me, 240, 250, 260, 265 head pressure, uh, which converts over to 108 degrees. Uh, condensing temperature, which room temperature is about 75 or 80, so 900, 110, so 30 above on the PT chart, so we're right around bitching. So things are running pretty sweet. And uh, three tenths of a degree, 25 degree suck, 25 degree suction. We got a little, little sub cooling coming back in here. <coughs> Real nice. So hopefully that's coming a color done. <coughs> so thought you guys would like that. Anyways, this video is mainly about this corrosion issue, uh, cap tubes. If you got leaks on any of your true stuff, man, it's the cap tubes. This is the second or third third video I've done. Uh, cap tube leaks. So, anyhow, got to replace. Start. I'm gonna order some true cap tubes to start replacing them. Tired of screwing with them. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, all right. Hope you like the video. Click the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Okay. Take care. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.